Welcome back to another episode of Apple Juice for Two. Apple Juice. This is episode 48. 48. 40 weight. You're darn 40, tuned. 40 weight. No, 49. Call it 48. 48. Should call it 48. No, no it's, it's 48, but there are there's some, there's some episodes that are in the grave and yeah. are not going to be talked about because they did not turn out very well. <laughs> anyway, I'm your host, Cameron Allen. We are joined today by Macy Crawford, singer-songwriter. Hi, everyone. Thanks for coming. I'm glad you're Thank here. Thank y'all for having me. It's a pleasure. Uh, obviously, we have Isaiah Allen, as Lil usual. Zay. Lil Zay News. Yeah. Always in the flesh. And then Brevin's oh, banter that's not true, actually. on the banter couch. You're right. Sometimes you've no, been on no, shows no, no, just no, on the voice. So. On some Zooms, I've, I've been at that. Yeah. you got to keep your credibility up, dude. You can't you can lie. Tell. Sorry. We're a newscaster. Me. Please forgive me. I'm so sorry. Anyway. <sighs> anyway. Well, yeah. It's fun. You're hosting. I don't have to. I'm that's just, true. I, I called dibs on the uh, desk today. I'm just, I'm yeah. just Because the top, we're talking about music stuff. <laughs> we have an yeah. artist here today. And I'm, so, you know, I got to be on the reins of that. I can dig it. I can dig it a lot. Functional harmony and stuff. You know what I mean? <laughs> Tonality, pitch, stuff like that. Yeah. Anyway, Missy, tell us a little bit about um, your music. I mean, have you really, you just released a single, right? Yeah. So I think now I have like five singles that stand on their own. And uh-huh. in December, I released a five track EP Word. called Hamartia. Um, but okay, yeah. Okay, that's the, how you pronounce it. I was. Yeah, I was confused on how to pronounce said, that. I thought it was Hamartia. I, I, re- you get that a lot. Everyone Bonics. says Hamartia or Hamartia. I don't even know, but yes, you heard it here first. Hamartia. <laughs> you. You the Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it. Yeah, Apple Juice for two exclusive. Is that your most popular song? Um, Julia off of the EP. It was the first single. Gotcha. So. Yeah, that was my first release on a record label. So had their 70? promotion. No, um, it was, um. From Tipsy Records oh, Tipsy. in Florida, okay, gotcha. nice. so they're usually like an EDM label, Interesting. but okay. they want to branch out into pop stuff. So nice. where they, are they from? Do you know, Florida. Oh, that's cool. That's gotcha. I don't so, remember how, like what city. But, no. Oh, gotcha. How did you get in touch with them? Did they just like find you? Yeah. So my producer Robbie Rosen, he produced literally every mm. song I've ever released. <laughs> nice. Wow. Um. Yeah, he's big in like the EDM world. He uh-huh does a lot of like vocal work on producers EDM tracks so nice. he That's is sick. in touch with a bunch of different labels he just <clears throat> sent the EP out um, got rejected by a few people but oh, <laughs> yeah tipsy records you said, got picked up that's awesome yeah awesome. I literally cried when I <laughs> the really email. I bet because <laughs> awesome. I've been singing since I was eight so mm, that's what's up. That's after amazing. a while you're just like it could be oh, am I ever going to get anywhere? Yeah. And like mm-hmm. these people are like, no, oh, we don't think this project is right for us. And then to finally get a yes. It's yeah. Like, oh. amazing. How do you yeah. um, enjoy Like, how do you like working with uh, Tipsy, the people there? Yeah. I mean, they're great. I mean, what is that like? Like, is it just like Zoom calls and stuff? Or like, do you you go down to Florida? At fly all? out. No, <laughs> I don't fly out. Um, First we've, class. <laughs> yeah, we've done a few video calls, mainly through email. Because, I mean, I came to them with the EP fully produced right. and everything that's so nice. there wasn't much um work for us to talk about together they just kind of did their promotion stuff we worked gotcha. on the cover art um and they of course consulted me but yeah they nice. just kind of did their thing and they did it well so yeah for real um so the dude that you um produced with what's his name again robbie rosen robbie so when did you guys start writing songs together um, probably in 2019, I had started working with him because I was auditioning for America's Got Talent. Oh, wow. Nice. wow. Um, I actually got to the like executive round, almost made it on TV, wow. but I blew my phone interview because they asked me, oh, if you win the million dollars, I think it's a million, what are mm. you going to do with it? And my 15 year old self, I was like, <laughs> I really want to go to this island called Lack Shadweep. Off the coast of India. Oh my god. But you have to get permission from the government to go there. (laughs) And they're just like Okay. Um, yeah. (laughs) You definitely gotta be like, Oh, I my mom is dying and I'm gonna save her. Oh, that's true. That's how that's how only GT works. So just try to find like the best like And also phone interviews are always awkward. Like those are never fun at all. Yeah, I'm not the most well spoken person either, so that didn't turn out too well. But (laughs) off of that, um, rabbit hole yeah. um yeah so i met robbie through working with him on that and then he was like you should really start working on some original stuff and i was never really like the kid and who would like write songs in their bedroom when mm. they were younger like i would do some of that but 
I subconsciously like plagiarized all my stuff off of Disney Channel, yeah. so <laughs> no really like original material. But hey, all art is plagiarized, <laughs> more or less. But uh, <laughs> there's, yeah. there's a quote by someone that's kind of like that or whatever. Yeah, there's nothing new under the sun. Yeah, yeah, something that. like that. But yeah, we worked on my first single, In and Out. That was literally the first real song I ever wrote. Wow. Um, and then from there, we just have always worked together. Nice. Yeah, that's awesome. It's but like. You know, there's people that you start out with, like when you start writing songs with someone, it's mm -hmm. kind of hard to ever stray away from that. <laughs> yeah. When did you know you just wanted to be a singer? Um, Probably, I mean, I don't remember like the moment, I guess. My first memory singing, I was like seven or eight in church, in my grandma's church, and my knees were literally shaking so mm -hmm. bad, and I was terrified. But I, I mean, I kept coming back, so mm -hmm. I mean, it just feels natural i guess like yeah. i can't remember a time where i didn't want to sing so i don't know that's like do you always like performing yes i i mean coming to college i kind of like got out of the habit of it because mm -hmm. moving busy. from one town to like a, a city like charleston you're right, like yeah. i'm new here i don't yeah, know like yeah. anything mm -hmm. but yeah i've been trying to ramp up the performances down here in yeah. charleston so yeah, no, seeing you at the Four House uh, the other amazing. time was awesome, yeah. Thank yeah, you. that was my first. I mean, I've done stuff with, like, 1770 and stuff, but that was my first, I guess, real out in Charleston perf performance. Yeah. I got you. So. Well, did you say that you like performing better, or do you like songwriting or, like, recording better? I think songwriting. <laughs> <laughs> I think songwriting and recording, um, I just... I feel more comfortable there. I feel like I like can be studio. more creative. Yeah. Um, shout out to my band. They're all like really big personalities. So sometimes I can feel a little timid and stuff <laughs> to true. like present my ideas, but they're really encouraging. So they're That's making awesome. more, like, me like more comfortable performing with the band. But as of right now, I'm definitely more comfortable in the studio. I just have like these manic episodes oh where God. I'll get up, start recording, and then I'm like, in another harmony, in yeah. another harmony, uh -huh. and I need another one. <laughs> Hon so. I honestly can relate to that. How did you end up meeting uh, Jalen? Because we had Jalen on the show a couple, of, uh, a couple episodes, excuse me, and like I know he plays bass. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming that's the other uh, band member you have, but like I said, like I met, or I guess we, he reached out to us, and then we found out about you, and we're like, well, shit, like, we have to have her on the show. Like, and then we, that's when we also obviously went to the your performance, and it was amazing. But how'd you end up meeting Jalen? Yeah, so um, Jalen and I, we had a class together my freshman year. He doesn't remember because oh. we sat on opposite sides of the room, and he spoke, and I didn't. So <laughs> he didn't know I was there. Shout out to Jalen. Um, yeah, but then we were partners in our um, understanding creativity class because we had to pick a partner for the whole semester. Mm -hmm. And he was the one of the only people I kind of recognized and I knew he played some instruments. So I just messaged him like on the Zoom and I was like, you want to be partners? Nice. <laughs> and he was like, yeah. And sure. so we went on those endeavors together throughout our understanding creativity class. And mm -hmm. then I don't remember whose idea it was to work on my most recent song, Heartless, together, but mm -hmm. he, um, I think he sent me the instrumental for that. I like told him the vibes I was going mm -hmm. for, and then we worked with Robbie to produce it, and then he was like, we should start a band, so. Yeah. Oh, word. That's exciting. <laughs> yeah. I love starting bands. <laughs> what do you think is your favorite part of your most recent single, Heartless? Like, the instrumental that he sent you, or something like that, or like the lyrics that you... Yeah, I mean, I don't know that I have a favorite part. I mean, I really like how he did the beat switch or whatever. Uh -huh. um, that was my idea. Oh, okay. So, there you go. Um, That's on record now. <laughs> yes, but um, I don't know if you can necessarily, necessarily hear it mm -hmm. when you listen to the song, but um, we just did like a synth part, really simple for the second half of the song. Mm -hmm. But Robbie and I kind of layered our harmonies over it mm -hmm. to like, make our own synth with our vocals, <laughs> yeah, if that, that makes, makes sense. sense. Yeah, yeah. You're um, making like chords so, with the harmonies and stuff. Like yeah. So that's my favorite part. Makes sense. sense. Yeah. I just will that's let awesome. you know, this is obviously just, this is, this is on the record, that I learned the three chords of Heartless. I just wanted to let you know that. I, oh. Well, I just need your positive affirmation for that. <laughs> we need to see yeah. if he's correct, basically. No, uh, no, I, I you definitely could. mini chord out here. Yeah, I, I could. Or, yeah. Like right will. now. Go get it. Sometime. I, yeah, I, I, no, I'll it. do it. I'm going to definitely do it. And y'all, you, you, you know. Should have, we should have done it before. I mean, I guess we could if you wanted to. 
Yeah. Let's do it after. Yeah, we'll do it after. Yeah, we'll do it after. The, this will be like, that'll be yeah. the late, late, late night one. <laughs> sure. Right, right. Yeah. Sure, yeah. exactly. Yeah. 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 Um, so, what's been inspiring you most recently in terms of music? Yeah, I really want to just push myself to learn more. That's so freaking broad. But <laughs> what <laughs> I mean true. is that... Um, like I said, I haven't been as into live performances as I was when I was younger. Mm -hmm. And also, I just feel like singing your own songs is a different beast than singing somebody else's songs. Yeah. Like, you have all the great songs that people cover, like, I'm going down, I have nothing, I'm changing. Like, mm -hmm. I grew up singing that kind of stuff, but what I write is completely different from that. So I'm trying to learn how to make my voice, yeah. not like make it suited towards that, but how to approach it, if uh -huh. that makes sense. So, like your voice doesn't what you have to say, or like your physical. Well, voice. I mean, like my actual like voice, like yeah. singing. Gotcha. Um, just how to approach different aspects of it and to control it better. Um, I really want to work on my runs and stuff. Oh, but yeah. I've just been studying like Word. Jasmine Sullivan, Yubba. Um, my guitarist Ashton just sent me a video about Brandy and why she's the vocal bible. Oh, yeah. My guitarist Ash Ashton can actually sing, so oh, wow. he told me he was gonna be my vocal coach. Yeah, that's so. what we have to get him on next. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I love Yeba. Sorry. He's oh my gosh. Yabba. I literally like when I go to search on YouTube, it's literally Yeba Tiny Disc. And I click <laughs> on it every day to watch it. And I do her runs with her so I can Oh, I try saw to that you really got accepted for that tiny desk thing. That's awesome. Yes. Congratulations so on that. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was really fun. We just piled up in my house and my drummer Mikey bought all of his official producer equipment. It's nice. amazing. So and busted it out. Yeah, we busted recorded out. it for like three hours and then he was messing with our keyboard player saying because our keyboard player like unplugged his cable from I have no idea what it's mixer, called. I guess the mixer. And um, and he was like, "Oh my gosh, bro! Like it wasn't finished uploading. We just lost everything." Oh, shit. And we had like had trouble scheduling this, but I really wanted to do it. And we had just recorded it for three hours, and all of my band members they're just kind of like nonchalant because there's like nothing <laughs> you can do about it. <laughs> but that <laughs> yes, I was like. I was telling my best friend Haley, like, oh my gosh, like, they be better be ready to stay here for another yeah. however long, or we're gonna, like, <laughs> yeah. figure this out, because I'm not just gonna be like, oh, You're it's like, gone. Hey guys, so I got good news and bad news. <laughs> good news yeah. is we spend more time together. <laughs> you yeah. sound great, but you won't ever hear it again. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, but it was recovered. Mikey was just nice. pulling one over on us. Oh um, my god, that is... Mikey, so. how dare you? That, that's such a cold joke to make. <laughs> yeah, that's but funny. it worked out. That's awesome. Hilarious. Where did you where did you guys record um your most recent single and stuff like uh, Yeah, I have I have a um just kind of bedroom studio. Nice, yeah. I record my vocals there. Robbie lives in Long Island, so Okay. We just zoom and I nice. tell him what I want to hear. Uh-huh. Um we have our own kind of language for my last <laughs> song that we were writing. I was like Okay, you're in the club, you're crying, you're wearing blue glitter eyeshadow, there's a disco ball. And he was like, got it. Got and it. That's awesome. Like, nice. It's like, I know exactly what you mean. So, and he delivered? That's how you produce. Yeah, he I mean. That's a good, yeah, that's a yeah. good producer for sure. Yeah, I'm trying to work on, you know, learning how to express what I'm hearing in my mind better, but uh -huh. I'm still just like, okay, I'm hearing like. Tough. I mean, yeah, it's like, it's basically the best you can, the best you can do, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I always tell him, I want twinkly sounds, or I want, like, something that sounds like air. Like, Dude, in my I, song, Oedipus, I think we literally these. looked up compressed air. Nice. And that's <laughs> Wave files, compressed that. air. Yes. <laughs> that's so. amazing. That's hilarious. Word. Um, so, I wanted to get your opinion on something. Well, we wanted to get your opinion on something. Yes. Um, Well, I guess we don't have to watch it right now, but we had earlier <laughs> watched and discussed, you know... Anthony Fantano's list of the most overrated um, singers of all time. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of there's a lot of things we agree with and disagree with, and we all want your uh, opinions on it. Isaiah, do you remember any of them yeah. off the top of your head? So the one that kind of shocked me was that they said that Beyonce was an overrated singer, and I <laughs> yes, yes, yeah, and I was, hot I was take. Kind of, yeah, I was I like, I don't, that's a hot ass take that, for real. It is there a very hot take. Oh wait, dude, that's, and that's not even take. the hottest one. 
You have yet to hear the hottest one. The hottest one, another one. They said that uh, Michael Jackson was this uh, overrated singer, uh, and then even Mariah Carey, Mariah Carey is the biggest and crime Ariana Grande. And I was just oh, like, that's where I draw the line. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> that was, At Ariana. Yeah, I am like the biggest Ariana stand. Really? She is my awesome. number one like influence. I would wait for my dad to get off of work in the school office and we would play america's got talent and i would sing awesome. pink champagne and honeymoon avenue those My are like her first songs. singles so. i know how to play um i don't know why i'm playing uh uh what's it called that song um <laughs> with uh oh, yeah shut up shut up it's it, no it's ariana it's from that honeymoon album uh i was oh my god it's uh i like to say we gave it a uh, oh almost is never almost enough. Is never enough i oh, yeah, love no. dude i, love I that. sang that for my um oh, america's got talent oh, audition oh, well, with we, we, you know post <laughs> yeah that's amazing I do how, how much of um how much of ariana do you <clears throat> feel like you have in yourself like your artists like persona your music and stuff like how much do you work into of your of that into your own stuff yeah, I mean, Thanks, I guess <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Well, I know you. We don't have all the words. We don't have all the words. I don't necessarily like consciously think what would Ariana do, but course, I think yeah. she's mm. in such a big influence in my life. I it's guess, like subconsciously. especially with like her harmonies, like that's what I oh, admire okay. most about her. So I like. Yeah, I, I feel like whistle tones. Oh. <laughs> I will. I would love to hear them <laughs> after yeah, this. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And n not, not right now. <laughs> I gotta get warmed up. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. yeah, I feel like every time I listen to her songs, I can hear like a new harmony and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, I really admire that about her. Um, people tell me I sound like her sometimes, but nice. I don't okay. want to. Yeah. <laughs> did you That's think exactly that or something? What I said. Remember nice. you did? when you played the, her song? I was like. It's, nice. It's like, it's huh. I don't remember that, but that's awesome. Uh, there you go. It's a compliment. I don't want to be like one of those people who are like trying to copy her. Or something, no, I definitely. I didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't yeah, mean no, it. I, like, oh, she's trying to copy her. Like, your voice just sounds similar. Yeah, and it, it mm. did sound Thank good you. too. Like, it was. Very yeah, no, it's an earnest clear, influence. You can tell for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So fucking yeah, there was Mariah Carey on that. Um, Kurt Cobain. Yeah, that that shocked me. Is he? Do people That's think good. he's a great singer? I a mean, lot of people Nirvana do a... think he's a great singer in terms of like he can scream, you know, <laughs> and shit like that. And like the rock and roll situation. Uh, yeah, I think he's a rock and roller. <laughs> yeah. I don't even. Yeah. And like last Maybe Robert Patterson. Robert uh, Plant, you mean? Oh, Plant. No, no. <laughs> Robert Patterson. <laughs> <Robert Pattinson. laughs> <laughs> Twilight, he's, dude? He's Batman. Isn't that the. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's also Batman, yeah. Robert Plant. I doubt he would call himself a singer. Who? Kurt Cobain? Yeah. That's true. Know? He probably wouldn't. Mm. I'm a rock and roller. Yeah. I rock and I rule. And it's 100 percent legit. I wonder what Joe Rogan would say That's a good question. <laughs> about the most overrated singers. Yeah, he would say that he. I take it before every podcast. <sighs> Something like that. Um, that's but the one, the, the overrated singers, and you may or not may Michael not Jackson. No, the ones that, this 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 is on the list that people said they're overrated, and I agreed with these two. Uh, it was uh, Taylor Swift and Billie Eilish. Yeah, I know it's Eilish by yeah, Eilish, uh, but I've, well, Macy, uh, how do you yeah. feel about Billie That's Eilish? Yeah. Do you think sure. she's overrated? Or I went to her concert okay. a few, um, I guess, weeks ago. There's a little bit of bias in the south. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's experience. a really good singer. I think why I like her is that she kind of breaks the mold. I guess that you have to be able to hit all these notes and. Mm, that's have a wild range, do all these wild runs in order to be a good singer. Yeah, and I think she herself wouldn't say she's the best singer. I think it's more right. about like the artistry and the message behind it. Yeah. And I actually like at her concert, I feel like from seeing YouTube videos of her to seeing her live, um, and even just like that time progression, you can tell that she's working on her voice and she can belt better than she I think in my to. opinion she used to be able to. Yeah. Um <laughs> And I think she's just expanding her voice I mean, and getting better. She got better. huge at such a young age, so yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. it makes sense. She yeah. has a lot of room to grow and stuff. She's got a nice yeah. producer. Mm -hmm. That's true. I mean, yeah, her opinions are same, tight. Same deal, yeah. <laughs> but well, Taylor Swift is still bad. Taylor Swift. <laughs> Taylor Swift. How do you feel about Taylor Swift? Um, I like Taylor Swift. I do think she shines in her songwriting, but I wouldn't yeah. say she's a bad singer. I don't. I haven't seen too many of her live performances, which. I'll go off on another tangent. Oh, I used go, yeah. to have a Taylor Swift fan account when I was nice. <laughs> in sixth grade. It was I called it. Tay Tay Swag 13. Oh. I got exposed in math class and then oh. deleted it because I had like a secret identity. But I don't <laughs> really Wait, so remember. Someone you in math class? <laughs> yeah, know? they were like, oh my gosh, you're Tay Tay Swag 13. And I was like, what <laughs> oh, is that? 
And I'm like, delete. And then everyone got up. <laughs> I'm Tay Tay Swag. No, I'm Tay Tay Swag. Oh my god, that's so funny. No, I'm Tay Tay. Wait, so you deleted it after they exposed you? Yeah, um, but all that to say, I was such a big fan of hers, but I don't even have that strong of an opinion on gotcha, yeah. her voice. I, I mean, because really like, she is a good enough singer. Like, she's not she's bad, a talented, obviously, but uh, I think writer. you put it a good way. Like, she really does sh- shine in her songwriting. Yeah. I mean, which she is, like, she's kind of prolific in she's how really, many songs she does write. Mm-hmm. Um, that the new country ish song sucks, though. Like, new age country? She put out a new song. And it's I like bet you think country. about me. Yeah. Was it? Oh, I don't, yeah. I'm not a fan. <laughs> what have you been listening to these days that it's just really gets you going, yeah. like inspires you, or you think is fresh? Um, like I said, Yeba. I think her live version. Did I already of her, ask you that? I don't think so. Okay. You asked me like, what are my influences? Or okay, something, cool. All but right. um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Yeba. I listen to her Tiny Desk literally like every day. I think Yeba's live music is better than her produce music mm-hmm. um i feel like she tones down what she can do a lot mm-hmm. in the studio yeah um i've been listening to a lot of madison beer um ravina i'm going to see ravina in may do y'all know th- who that is i haven't heard of any of these people yeah. no i, oh. madison beer I didn't check out very, all this very familiar I think she- but who's ravina um she's kind of like an indie artist i guess to pin her into one genre um right, yeah. I don't even know. You're just going to have to look her up. Okay. She has incredible music. She just came out with an album called Asha's Awakening. It's inspired by, I think it's like a Hindi goddess. Okay. I hope I'm not saying that wrong. <laughs> um, but yeah, oh, I really cool. like her song Stronger um, from her album Lucid. That's probably my favorite project of hers. Okay. But yeah, that, that, you have to check that out. Rivera? What's her name? Ravina. Ravina, everybody. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay, so maybe, bad with names. Maybe now we should go into the other review we were going to do. What review? Whoa. Can you remind me? Ram base. Is that what you're Oh, <laughs> my gosh. Yeah, that's true. Friend of the show. Oh, yeah. Uh, one of our old friends of the show, uh, Ray on base. Our... He's, a, he's a dear soul. Uh, here, I'll, I'll pull it up real quick, but you guys can. He might have been our second uh, musical guest. Yeah. Who was our first? Will? I think so. Mm, oh, yeah. Well, yeah well, it, maybe Will maybe. was. It just messed up the first time, that's and then we true. interviewed him again. That's true, and he still, uh, still he did great. Yeah, I forgot we completely lost that first interview. Yeah, we did. It's just it's in. It's yeah, in, you told him that story, Cam. Yeah, the Will Double S story. You know, that once was a lad. His name was that's, Will Double S. Life. He signed and produced on GarageBand in his room. He <laughs> made the song "Hey Ho." This is the top ten teen sensation song of the year. Dude, when you when you type in Rayon Bass, our um, interview with him is the first thing that comes up. Nice. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not that that means much. Not, but. Yeah, no, this dude's legit. <laughs> okay. Um, Damn, who are those handsome men up up top? Oh my gosh, they're just so handsome. Thank you, Isaiah. We look like we're having fun in that picture. Hey, hey I, get it, I get it. I get it. What? <laughs> hey, hey. Soldering. I hear you. This is some of his new material. New material. Oh yeah. No, so look at all those old. So he's, he's an eclectic artist. Oh fuck you, YouTube Shorts. <laughs> the fuck is this? Like, <laughs> what kind of right? Kind of the interface is that? Iron Dude, this audio is this. Uh, the algorithm for this channel is so fucked because Jordan of the Peterson. cursed shit we've watched. On this. <laughs> a lot of Pawn Stars for some reason. Yeah, a lot of Pawn Stars. At night, we're like, I don't know, just oh, Pawn Stars is. There. Oh, okay. This is this is probably my favorite song of his. Oh, this is a good one. It's a classic. Oh, that's terrifying, though. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a video of this one? It's just Wait, that picture? There are time? TikToks, but I'm just going to let it play. I can't. You are my shelter. My shelter. You are my home. You are my shelter. So, so, it is funky. funky. What, what are your thoughts? How many Macy's out of 10? <laughs> First impressions. I have no words. <laughs> <laughs> She's speechless, <laughs> everybody. That's amazing. Gosh, why did he High go marks. with that picture? No one told him that he looks terrifying in that? Looks absolutely. Oh, we scary. have to show World of Less. We have to show World of Less. We no. have. No, we, we we already talked about it. We're not going to do World of Less. So what do you have planning or uh, planned for the future? Anything? Yeah, I want to um, write a new EP. I kind of have some songs. I've just been writing. Um yeah. But Hamartia was about, I don't know if y'all know this, but each song is about a different character. Oh, okay. Um, 
and about their fatal flaw. So hamartia means fatal flaw. That's cool. Um, what is it? Mm. What is it, language? Or? Greek. Oh, sweet. Mm. So yeah, it's like a literary device kind of. So Shakespeare, he'll write mm -hmm. his nice. characters with a fatal flaw. Oh, on wow. and on. Okay. Like hubris. I didn't know that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fatal flaw. Um, Ding. <laughs> yes, I should have consulted you. <laughs> I got one. I remember hubris. <laughs> but um, yeah, I want to transition from writing like other people's stories to writing about my own stories for some reason i think that's more difficult but I, I see. um Wait, so you know that's who's what i'm doing to do whose stories my or own probably, so writing songs about other people versus personal stories um, so you usually write from like the perspective of a character you think of or something or somewhat or i'll just think of like a story in life yeah. that happens in general so in and out was about a real life situation that happened to me but pretty much <coughs> all of my other ones besides hamartia which is also about me um mm -hmm. they're just about random situations mm -hmm. or other characters but i'm gonna try to tap in nice. to my own emotions to my your own, own experiences of... um which is kind of scary but hmm. yeah it's gonna be the most real macy crawford album yet <laughs> yeah maybe the right, so one. you already have some stuff written like you have lyrics and whatnot yeah, I so I have a show with seventeen seventy this Saturday. Word. Um, I don't know when this will come out, but if it comes out before March on 19th, Friday, so go see. Oh yeah, guys. yeah, go see her on the, tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, it's at four. I'm performing around six thirty, six forty five. Okay, where? anyways, um, it's at somebody's house. I don't want to like put their address out there. Dog but... some. DM for info. Well, <laughs> it's on the flyer, so oh, I guess okay. I can say it. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's 3 Charlotte Street near Harbor Walk, College of Charleston campus. So okay. yeah, it's free. Um, anyways, I'll be, I guess, debuting an unreleased song there. Ooh, um, nice. uh -huh. Yeah, and then I have a few um, other ones that are also unreleased, obviously. Um, but I think I'll try to write a few more because mm -hmm. the last one was five songs, but I want to have maybe like eight on this next one. Nice. We'll see how much I can write. That's a lot. Um, I mean, lyrics for eight songs, it's no, uh, yeah. so small. I think that's know. the easiest part for me, though. Is writing lyrics. Mm -hmm. Nice. I suck at writing lyrics. Uh, I've tried. Be nice. And it's <laughs> bad. <laughs> I'm really hard on myself, but we should try to write together sometimes. Sure, I would love to. I, um, yes. awesome. I write my best on my own. But I want to try to, even with Robbie, I'll like hang up the Zoom and then I'm like all of a sudden inspired and I'm yeah. like, I wrote the whole song. And he's <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> I see what you mean yeah. for sure. And definitely uh, when it comes to me writing lyrics, it's like in the manic moments, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Where it's like, oh, it's just yeah, all there. And then besides you, that, it's gone and like not accessible, <laughs> which is, it needs to be more of like a muscle I right <laughs> or build that, so that's, that's our that's, that's thank what, you. yeah sorry thank you, sorry. sorry. I, had a, I had a saying that's a uh that's an inside reference i guess <laughs> <laughs> you were the first guy no, <laughs> um if you had like a pinnacle goal for like your music career that you could you know achieve one day what would you love to do um uh, just one it's hard to pick i, I know, guess that's a, on the spot i would really love to go on tour i mean mm -hmm. i don't know if that's too too much small to ask. To some is that too people. much to ask everybody? I was gonna say, was gonna uh, I don't tour, know if that's okay? too small to some people because I feel like anybody, not anybody, but a lot of people go on tour. But I, I think right mean. now that's Especially at, what my goal goal would be to go on tour, like in a some full capacity. international tour type thing, or just like yeah. I mean, even just a small tour, I just feel like it would be fun. <laughs> no, you're right. I, I want to start playing shows more too. Mm -hmm. The whole van. Like narrative <laughs> groupies combine your two cars into a van yeah dude yeah, we could do that for it's sure a cam van come on oh nice i'm just i'm a wordsmith okay you know that uh-huh i'm smith cam, cam oh. room that works um, that definitely works uh, cam car okay camobile you're just saying cam and then a word camobile thank you guys yeah cam um, Caroline, Macy, if you <laughs> if you had to give anybody um who like is trying to write songs, like singer-wise, or in general, what would, advice would you give to someone who is stuck? So specifically about writing songs? Yeah. I would say just go for it. What kept me back, like my first song, In and Out, I think I restarted it like six times mm -hmm. before I even moved on from the instru instrumental. 
Um, but you just got to keep pushing, if that makes sense. Like, you might make a hundred bad songs, but at least you're getting practice yeah. and, like, refining your craft and learning. Um, that's so something yeah, that that's we um, were talking about with that new Kanye documentary on Netflix. Mm -hmm. Like, he just made an insane volume of beats yeah. and, like, music in the time. And through that, he just, you know, got and really he fucking good at it. definitely kept going. He was just like, I'm going to do this. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to be the best rapper. Yeah. So just, like, if you put in the time it, so. and yeah. stuff, like, <laughs> you will get good at it mm -hmm. in your own way, I guess. You heard it there first, folks. Isaiah, do you want to oh. ask Macy for any advice? Um, do you need any dating advice yeah. or anything? Or <laughs> so, I mean, like... <laughs> Uh, I'm like a little bit of a sick. No. Well, I don't think as much as I used to. Like, believe it or not, Cam or, or Brev and I were. I get, I've been getting names wrong no way. this entire my entire lifetime. Um, Brev and I were uh, in course together. Um, as you can tell, he's a tenor. As you can tell, I was a bass. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, and even now, like every now and then, we'll just not as much as we used to. But we, we are. Used to, like, I mean, I think at heart we are singers. Yeah. Like, like and I, we used to, I still and we used love to write. Singing. Like we used to like write a little like you don't. I know. I want to write more songs. Sing it. Just sing it. Telling sing it. Day, you. All right. You, you remember? How, you know. You want to do it? You want? You, you only want to do for a guest. Not you don't want to sing. We can sing a different song. I like what? Some hey, choral music. What music? Choral music. No. <laughs> What's on the throne? Nice. Who's doing the melody? Walk down. You can oh, do the no. melody. No, do the melody. The no, let me do the bass line. All right, bet. Walk down that throne. Thank you for watching, everybody. <laughs> Catch Macy Crawford <laughs> on Saturday at 4 p.m. Is that it? Skip to the back, too. Hear the address. <laughs> Check it out. Listen to Heartless on Spotify. Anything else? So <laughs> follow me on Instagram, nice. Macy R. Crawford. I'm that everywhere. So follow me everywhere. Nice. Thanks for joining us. I appreciate it. All right, yeah. It was a pleasure. <laughs> How rude of you guys. <laughs> well, we, were, we just had to prove it. <laughs> we had, we had we a moment. It. You know, cool. Apple juice for two. Apple juice for two. It's a, it's a late afternoon. Apple ride. juice for two. It is fine. So you have right, mom's on me. Come up this yeah. way. But, uh, yeah, no, right? And it's gonna be like that because we got lost an hour of sleep, fucked me up really bad. I was not able to recover. And I had to get up early, which made it even fucking worse. But aside from that, I'm uh, one of your hosts, Mr. Cameron Isaiah Allen, alongside my boy, Brim Song. So far. This is the farthest first we've ever like done a podcast because usually like we're always like together. We're more face to face though, That's <laughs> and like just looking in each other's eyes. Yeah, I can just stare at you. I know, deeply, intensely. Uh, oh, what are we talking about? Oh, oh sorry, I, I got a little flushed. Uh, whew, I'm a little sweaty, but yeah, like I said, this is a this is a special app. Um, we have the I'm assuming the uh, the owners of uh, yeah. Heavenly Souls. Co-owners, yeah, yeah. Oh, all right. So can y'all tell us a little bit? Introduce yourselves and tell us more about it. Uh, is it working? Uh, yeah, we're, yeah. <laughs> just making sure the uh, mic is hot <laughs> so i'm um, david valley co-owner of heavenly souls yo i'm dylan co-owner of heavenly souls creative director Word. and heavenly souls is what we call ourselves we're clothing brand mm -hmm. partly was, it's like a branded multimedia company okay. so we shoot music videos mm -hmm. uh short films yeah we short shoot short films, films release clothes um Pretty much anything like that. Podcast coming soon by the summer, hopefully. Oh fucking yeah! So how? What was like? Whose idea was it? Like, or how did y'all even like come up with the idea to start this like multimedia brand? Like you said. Um. Let's see. I mean, like, it kind of started with me. Like, I had the idea together, and then David hit me up one day randomly and was like, "Yo, you want to start a brand?" And I was like, "I've been sitting on this idea for a minute wow. now," and it was kind of like the match to the to the bomb really you right know? yeah or the apple to yeah, the juice yeah the apple to the tree <laughs> yeah <laughs> the juice to the squeeze <laughs> <laughs> we're wordsmiths but yeah that's weird we're, 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 that's what sell us as well so yeah. what movie what kind of music do you do y'all produce it or do y'all just make the music videos for it so a little bit of both we oh, shit. we do have a couple artists mm -hmm. um you know that we're trying to push, start pushing more local heavily. artists. That's what's word. Yeah, we're definitely trying to push the local, local all the Charleston rappers. Even yeah. I mean, even more than just rappers. You know, mm -hmm. if anybody's out there that makes good music. As know? long yeah. as it's dope and it's happening in the eight four three, we're on it. That's right. Hell yeah, we're in. The, we are yeah. in the eight four three. Y'all heard of Keon? I've actually yeah. I have <laughs> heard some of this stuff. <laughs> Thanks, so that I have yeah, heard yeah, some of this stuff. Yeah, yeah. We gotta get Keon on that. Definitely, show. we can. Keon is 
I when you when you look at him, you know, to the naked eye, you'd be like, yo, this is some some corny ass dude. And then he spits, and then you're like, bars. Holy shit, this guy can rap. I think I, I think I have one of the songs. <laughs> yeah, it's a game time. I was I featured. One. Yeah, yeah. Did he have two? Did he have two? It's like three. Two? Three. One's on uh, SoundCloud. The other two are on Spotify and Apple Music. Oh, okay. But yeah, that's actually the SoundCloud one was before you knew anything about mixing and mastering. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's how it inside weird, 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 weird inside joke. Word. That is that's fucking dope. So how how'd you, you or how'd how you off? end up getting the design? For the uh, for the merch, because like, I keep on looking at it, and I'm just like, what the fuck? Because I know we got merch, and I'm much do, I'm much it, much do. But your merch is like, it's like really fucking like, oh, you can tell sure. there's a lot of thought, and you, you can see the stitching on the side. Forty four, say forty four. It's four four four. Your soul. It's uh like four, angel four, number four, dyslexia is what I like to call it. Angel <laughs> number dyslexia. <laughs> Care to elaborate? So, how'd you come up with the name Heavenly Souls too? Heavenly Souls. It's like um, it's like a, I it was. Like an identity. I wanted to mm-hmm. be an identity to the people in the holy city. We mm-hmm. call it that. So oh, I shit. felt that there wasn't Baby, really you just people. Fucking blew my fucking mind. <laughs> big <laughs> push on Charleston. Yeah, yeah. just a big or, push on Charleston. But like at the same time, if you're not from here, you can still rock it. It's not like a city specific, but mm-hmm. it's like a underground meaning if you're here though. You know what I mean? It's like an underground right. for like creatives and just people who know about the brand. Like That's you wear that in like Miami or you go wear it in Atlanta or you wear it in Charlotte and like mm-hmm. you know what it is. Other people might want to rock it because they see it, but it's not like they have to be from Charleston or they have to know about Charleston to know what we are. Right. So can, okay, right word, word, word. And we're not a religious brand, friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're not like, religious yeah, whatsoever. Seacoast is gonna fucking <laughs> fund everything. Like, oh, yeah. If we just wants to have, uh, we just wanted to bless y'all with some money. This is the pastor. Seacoast. Hey, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll take. I'll take donations. Yeah. Who cares? Like, money is money. You feel know I me? Mean? Like, money is money. But yeah, like, I see. I see some stuff over there. What's what's, yeah, what's, what's yeah, that? Oh, we got we got some what's stuff. That? I'm just I'm just curious. You know, if you wanna if you wanna open that up. Okay, that's legit. That's fuck yeah, it's legit. Oh my god! It gets crazier. Oh shit! Okay. If only I could read. Are there pictures in here? Because oh, yeah. there's a lot of words I can't read. It's very shit. colorful. If you can't read, can't, you'll still like it. Just... I, 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 oh, the pictures in here. Oh, <laughs> is it that a word? I can't read. But no, this is actually fucking mad. Dude. <gasps> well, use your words to describe the picture. Holy shit! <laughs> Whoa! Who the? F- what no, you, uh-huh. I say, no, what are pass, you no, looking at? Pass, no, it gets I, can't even, I, I don't want to. Just look at it, dude. It gets better. <gasps> Sprule Ab- <laughs> Give it to me. Uh, yeah, right, 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 right. Just read. Just look. Who the, who did that? All right. Sprule so Avenue, number one. So it's a comic book. Yeah. Yeah. That's the yeah. first edition. <laughs> yeah, I knew that it instantly. <laughs> <laughs> this is sick. So yeah, y'all know what comic books look like. Can you read us? Very cool artwork. It's um. And it's all based around like it's see, like yeah, the entirely like street and entirely like the, based in Charleston. The whole thing. That's awesome. That's it's like so post apocalypse. There's references. Like there's cameo. Post- there's cameos from rappers that are local here. The whole nine, bro. Holy shit! Oh, yeah, yeah, there's it's uh, in there's depth. Dropping next week. Oh, I gotta get that. That's it's my boy. Like, my boy, Big Mad is in that. Big Mad. I don't know if y'all know who he is, there's but King Street. This is a He's all original comic book. Isaiah, you suck at. Describe yes, yeah, where, original, the where can I get this? Where can I get this? It's, right it's going to be on the uh, well, it's no, right here no, online, you dickhead. Like, that's where? Yours. What's the website? It's uh, heaven, Heavenly that's Souls. Yours. Heavenly that's Souls. Dot us. US. We'll hang it up. Heavenly Souls. Dot US. You heard it first, kids. That is what, 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 what's that? Depending on hold on, what's depending on when this drops. I don't know when this is dropping, but March twentieth at four forty four p.m. The site opens. You can get clothes, comics, the whole nine. QR code, link tree, right in the bottom. Yeah, those are those are flyers. Pass it out, Brevin. I'm not getting up again. Dude. <laughs> I'll, I'll, get up. I'll get up. I'll get up. I'll get up. Oh, oh, um, but <laughs> going back to the going back to the comic book, uh, we oh, decided yeah. to reveal something that we were gonna hide for a minute, but we'll show you guys. Uh, where's the camera right there? Uh, this is the legendary cover of the Ooh. comic book. We actually made different rarities. We're gonna be giving out five of these in random orders. Oh, so these will not be for sale. They show wow. up randomly in the order depending on you know who's lucky enough. So you get a free comic book. A Potentially, one. if you buy some stuff, and it's oh legendary. God. It's dope. got the pineapple fountain yeah, gold dope. cover, and like I said, all the like, people who are obviously just like natives of Charleston, all are gonna see. <laughs> all the natives of Charleston are gonna see this, and like I just saw it's like the fucking pineapple. Like I gotta read this. Like I'm once I saw King Street, and I can't remember. Mike Wall. It's very who, definitely. Who's the animator? Paper. Like that's uh that's my boy Dylan, Dylan Adams. Adams. His name's Dylan Adams. Uh, I've known him since high school. Um, we've just been in touch ever since, and uh, he actually drew the 
the Heavenly nice. Souls logo too for me. I I gave him the vision and he ran with it. Same thing with the comic book. I was like, dude, you're really good at comic books. Let's Comics do, are hard. Yeah, let's do yeah. one. Yeah. And, uh, dude, he knocked it out in a month and a half. Wow, wow. thirty two pages, bro. He grinded. Literally that fucking crazy. King Street. Right yeah, fucking like here. That's just fucking. We're putting us on the. You're literally putting us on. Hey, the go to the, the go to the last page. <laughs> yeah, go to the last page. All right, trying to put Charleston like one of the last pages. You see the baby. Yes. Like dub baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That baby is oh. is actually this angel, oh, and it nice. grows up through the, the comic and actually follows the brand. So, so there's gonna be more issues. Yeah. So when like we change that. the shirt and we change the logo, the angel actually evolves in the comic with That's it. Sweet. To tie it in even more. <sighs> yeah, I'm. I'm I'm just like, Cameras yeah, over. we made up, we made I up our own language and everything. <laughs> so we, all we have is this Apple just for two, just like references and like inside jokes. We don't have like a language. Like, <laughs> 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 you just speak mentally. <laughs> Affirmative, brother. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, telekinetic. Um, <laughs> asked, oh my God, that's wow. This is, I'm just like. I don't know. I'm just like I'm just like overstimulated. Like, I, I don't. There's so many questions I'm trying to think to like. Just like how do you like what makes you think like how do you like come up with the idea to make a comic book? It's not even to just like promote yourselves, but just Charleston. Because I guess everybody. I, I just I hate the whole like touristy Charleston scene. And I, I don't think a lot of tourists gonna fucking get this shit. But me, a native, I'm just like this is just fucking amazing. The pineapple. Like I've been here obviously thousands, thousands of times. I've seen it, but like this is. Like what is so basically? What exactly is the comic book about? If you don't mind me asking. Um. So basically, there's this delivery boy. His name's Coil. Uh. He takes you through Charleston, and you know, main character takes you through the story. Mm -hmm. Um. It's based in a post-apocalyptic Charleston. So this is Charleston 200 years from now in the year 2222. Because you know, angel numbers and <laughs> all whatnot. About angel numbers. All about angel numbers. Word. But um, they're not religiously affiliated. No, affiliated. not at all. Yeah. I mean, spiritually. You know, we're yeah, spiritual. Oh yeah. We're souls. Oh, yeah, I, I can dig it. But yeah, keep on. Sorry, I'm just. I'm yeah, just no, you're good. Time. You're good. Um, basically, uh, in 2022, there's a big war, and the island, well, Chuck Town, separates and actually floats off into an island into space. And from there, a dude named Chuck rebuilds the town on this island as they float through space. Word. Wow. Yeah, and they carry on the history of Charleston throughout the comic. Space Charleston. Yeah, pretty much. Hell yeah. Space. You so it's just like a floating you. island. Space toast. Eventually, the the end goal for this is actually going to be an NFT comic book, and we're going to be yeah. one of the first. That's what, that's what, yeah. really what we're trying to. Yeah, that's our real goal, but that's like towards. one of the first. We've been we've been trying to get some AJF two NFTs. That would be sick. Definitely. It's definitely the way. So fucking yeah. Out. Jesus Murphy, I am absolutely just fucking. Bro, I love I love to see the reactions. Yeah, no, this is, like, this is, yeah, and I really am five guys like. Obviously, I, like whenever you make something, like mm -hmm. you're gonna like it, right? Maybe. But when it's more reassuring when other people like exactly. it, exactly. Yeah, this is like we've been sitting on this for a while. I think outside of like the team, mm -hmm. I think you might be like one of the first people that's touched it. Yeah, besides so, like, besides the people at A4 Fleet, hands off it. Dude, I, I gotta put this in like a like a plastic sleeve and then yeah. preserve we got you one right there. Oh we got God. you one right there. This is, this is okay. Puts back. This is collectors. This is actually fucking amazing. Like I, I appreciate you. Just like literally, like I said, I can't, I can't emphasize you putting Charleston on the map. Just because I don't really feel like there's much of a music scene in Charleston, and I feel like a lot of people just associate us with this touristy bullshit. Like let's go to, the, let's walk to the Battery. Let's, uh, let's go to the Pineapple. Let's go to Rainbow Road. But like it just, I just most of it's historical stuff. Yeah, yeah. Not, like things happening. Now. Yeah, like this is like so fucking. I'm gonna look back on this and be like, oh yeah, the Heavenly Souls. Yeah. We uh we interviewed him first in a podcast. <laughs> this, is, this is our first Excuse podcast. This is our Excuse first podcast. Yeah. We, we, we were the first to cover the news, but yeah, it's and it's even cooler just because like local. Uh, you said was what? How exactly do you like describe your uh, brand again? You said really local. Just it's like a creative collective, really. Yeah, yeah just, just yeah, local people in Charleston with a local other. podcast. Like, you, you, can you just hear that? Like, does that just like mesh real well together? And that's the and that's the goal. Like, everybody that we work with. You know, we want them to grow. Mm -hmm. We want to grow. Because, right. like, if you look at other cities, like, I mean, Atlanta is, like, a perfect example. I mean, mm -hmm. all the, on the music scene, right. like, everybody's helping each other. Yeah. You know, all the videographers are helping each other and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. that's what helps, you know, as a city grow. Right. Because you see, like, oh, you know, Future fucks with, you know, little Baby and everybody like that. Right. And just, all the Atlanta rappers, yeah. Exactly, you know. Yeah, so Heavenly like, Souls fucks with Apple for two. Who fucks with the other Macy Crawford, <laughs> like, like, Keon. Keon, and Jalen. It's like other local, just 
artists, just creative, just people. So how big is the team and how how long have y'all known each other? Like, has this is building up? Because I know y'all all just, just all just like, I, I don't know if I ever knew that you're doing this. I remember See, you always the, say, oh, 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 I love your shit. I love your shit. I'm like, oh, thanks. I appreciate it. I like, oh, love your man on the streets. I'm like, this is fucking amazing. And then all of a sudden, I see Heavenly Souls. I'm like, whoa, wait. Has he been doing, like, how long has, like, have you been, like, thinking and, like, or just, like, kind of, like, so building this up? Me and Don have known each other since we were, like, six. Okay. Yeah, right. like, elementary school type beat. And right. then I moved to Texas and I came back in high school. Right, um, right, right, right. So, you know, it's me, Dylan, his twin brother, mm -hmm. um, Nico, our cameraman. Word, word. Shouts the, out to the Nico. Youngin, Shouts out. Still in high school. Word. Grinding yeah, for yeah, us. Yeah, we teach them how to film, bro. Intern. Um, that's what it's turn. about too we're teaching like <laughs> we're teaching like the younger kids how to do stuff yeah, too because i mean <laughs> okay. yeah, don't go to college <laughs> but um i would say like it's probably about six of us yes yeah, no yes yeah, six seven of us uh and each everybody, of i'm assuming just brings one different like piece of the yeah music. yeah pretty much like, somebody just, it's, it's, it's a kind of like somebody focuses on music somebody more focuses like on the creative aspect in terms of like this somebody mm -hmm. focuses on like reaching out to like local like I'm, that's yep. the goal that we want to get okay to. so okay do you want right to expand now, like, it or do you still want to keep it this right now we're we're done expanding the the board is what we're, it's the board of us yeah. like the, the board, board of directors the yeah, board yeah the board of, of directors whatever you want to call it yeah, yeah the we, board of angels we got it yeah the board of angels that but yeah we got uh we got me ceo david coo my brother ceo CFO. Um, our roommate Scott is president. Uh, my best friend Andrew's treasurer. And um, security. And then Dylan Adams. <laughs> Dylan Adams, the one that drew it, is VP and art director. So oh, he, he's pretty much, and he brings it to right life. Field. He brings it to life. But um, yeah, back to you know how you're asking how we started. Um, mm -hmm. We really only, it kind of like, we're still not there yet, but mm -hmm. it kind of like just popped. Mm -hmm. So how Pretty much how it started was towards the end of what was the 2020s, right? Yeah, 2020. it was like November. Like November 2020, you know, me and Dylan were talking, you know, mm -hmm. like, let's get this started, right? So, you know, we threw the idea out there, like, to, you know, started talking to people about it and stuff like that as we made our Instagram. Mm -hmm. And everyone was just all over it. Like, you know, when are y'all, like, we weren't planning on, like, ha having our first release or anything like that mm -hmm. till that summer. Like, we're just, you know, starting to plan ahead and just everybody, like, around Christmas time, everyone was just constantly asking us for stuff, you mm -hmm. know, stuff like that. So that's when we were like, okay, that's what Dylan, like, we got to give them something at least. So, right. was, so we came out with the beanies. Yeah. And yeah, those right. went crazy. Like, you know, everyone wanted one. Mm -hmm. And one of the things we like to push is, like, exclusivity. Mm -hmm. Just because, you know, if everybody can get it. You know, although it might still be good quality, value that value is mm -hmm. different. Exactly, Add scarcity into it. Yeah, yeah. well, the scarcity yeah. is really in the making the clothes as well because they're all handmade in Spain, so these yeah. are made by actual yeah. people Spanish. sustainably. Oh. Like there's oh, nice. like the even down to the dye they actually dye the clothes with is like safe for your washer, safe to be on you, like the whole nine. That's cool. Holy yeah, it's all licensed inter internationally, the whole like all the way. Y'all are legit. Yeah, <laughs> are really fucking trying legit. to be organic and recycled cotton. Like they mix it both. And it's it's heavy, but it's like breathable. It's that's uh that's brilliant for marketing too. Like that, I I mean I know there's tons of like retail sites. Well, if you put something in your cart, they'll be like, oh, you have 30 minutes left, or like there's one left. It's usually always bullshit. But yeah, yeah. just yeah. even like that thought of like it's it, act now or it's gone. Right, makes yeah. you want to buy definitely. it even more. It definitely, definitely. Pumps it up. That's fucking amazing. It just does make it cooler too. Yep. It's like, you had to be there. And 1% of uh, sales goes to carbon emissions, too. So just to oh, you add a little, just a little, yeah. yeah, just a little on top. Just to add some more. <laughs> yep. Why not? <laughs> why not? <laughs> Damn. Well, like I said, do you have uh, anything else you want to talk about or elaborate on before we uh, wrap up the show? Because I'm sure you have way more that I just haven't asked. Yeah. But, yeah. That you want to, um, like, because, like I said, just get it all out if you can. Yeah. Well, like, so you can plug you yourself in. What's like your. What's your biggest dream? Like the one, if there's one thing Ooh. that y'all want to do, what would it be? For me, is I want to make a movie. That's a good one. Like actually produce and direct yeah. a full movie. Ooh. If we can even keep it within the city, that would be dope. Who? That's a tough one because mm. like I always, I always preach to the team that like we don't need to have dreams, mm -hmm. we need to have goals. Mm -hmm. That way, just like I mean, it's all a perspective thing, but that way yeah. it's like more like you know driven. And I mean, damn, that's a that's a tough one. <laughs> I mean, I guess any like big collabs. I mean, I really, I wanted us like one day work with Virgil Abloh, R.I.P. Mm. Virgil, 
Right. So that he's one of the people that like got me into like fashion and stuff like that. Oh shit. Yeah. So I fuck with. Got the off whites on now. Oh yeah, I guess I peeped them. I peeped them. Trust me, I did. Um. <laughs> so like, I mean, just like a super like a, a dope collab like that. Because I mean, mm -hmm. there's no like limits to what we can do. Absolutely not. Any of us, you know, like there's no limits in general of what you can not do. At all. That's why, like, you know, we started with clothes and mm -hmm. the way I look at it, you know, that game in high school uh, on the computer where like you're the fucking dot and you're going around like the screen. Yeah, the world, like, the, world's impossible game. Oh, never mind. Like, no, you're <laughs> eating like those, the smaller ones. It's like something like I owe. worm like, something? Yeah. I, oh, yeah. worm I owe, yeah. yeah, that's, yeah. How I, that's how I vision us. Like anything that we could oh. do, just, just grab little by little, and yeah. Up. So like okay. that's how we started like mm -hmm. doing music videos and stuff like that. Cause like, why not? Like, yeah, we don't have to just limit ourselves. You can't go for the just, biggest snake first. You just gotta. Yeah, exactly. you gotta build your way up step by step for sure. So definitely, like you know, super dope collab. I mean, it would be cool to work with like shoot a music video for Drake. You know, throw right. some clothes on him. Word. Something you know. Yeah, that's um, fucking dope. But honestly. I want to buy the battery, Charleston battery. Uh, yeah. That would be. We want to rebrand the battery, bro. Re they re are. The, it the is Holy like, City Angels, bro. That I'm, should be dope. Funny thing is, never been to a game. Never really, been to a Charleston really. battery game. This never See, like stuff never like that, really appealed like, to me. Like I would always when I when they had the the stadium uh, on Daniel off of five yeah on five twenty off of five twenty six. I would always look during a game like damn, there's like ten people in this fucking area. It's a tiny stadium. Yeah, it was a very tiny tiny stadium. And like, like the, our high school has a bigger stadium. What it had before they fucking demolished it. But still, well, I mean, even have now, you seen the new one? Well, new one. Yeah, I heard. I've seen the new one's huge. Yeah, new one's nice. What? New one's nice. Though. For some reason, they have a jumbotron. That that's they're trying to turn to Texas <laughs> in terms of just putting a bunch of money into football. Even though our football team sucked, yeah, and will always probably suck. So. It's not a huge thing around here. At yeah. least it looks good. It's just soccer and like <laughs> lacrosse, but football yeah. Mount Pleasant. We're is soccer town. Yeah, we, yeah, yes, yes. You know, no yeah. one cares. Only people that care are the people on the team. Damn. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta. Well, I mean, you're right. Come on. I mean, I know you're right. You're right. You're right. Like, was there like a huge student section at soccer games? I'm never into a game other than football and basketball. I neither. Yeah, just pretty much. You went to a basketball game? Actually, I don't think I ever did. I went to like. The pep rallies were lit though. Pep rallies were very cringy. The pep <laughs> rallies were, but that's just because like. <laughs> okay, but oh, the black white one. That thought that was like so weird. Like black, like, I would just yell black white. This is yeah. weird as fuck. That that part of was kind of funny, but just the thing I did like the most about the pep rally, excuse me, the fucking pep the faculty the student faculty basketball game. Mm. That would just get disrespectful. Why do I need pep for my high school? Yeah, there's no, there's no <laughs> point. Stupid. You're no point of like school spirit. We're in high school. I have school. to be. You forced me to be here, and now I have to have pep. Yeah, it was just somebody. I don't know if you remember this. Somebody blew up a condom. Yeah, I was just about to ask. You remember? <laughs> you remember the condoms? Somebody blew, up, somebody blew up a condom, and like, they're like, at, at, it was supposed to be like a fucking like volleyball and this shit, and then That's they got good. so fucking pissed off. She was so funny. Dude, he did so much dumb shit. Do you remember when Drake school. Bell came? Yo, we're gonna, you know, we're yeah, gonna, we're, that, about we're, gonna, we're yeah. Yeah, we actually we talked about this like what three four episodes ago I think like that. He's yeah. a a perv. Like he, I've heard stories of mm -hmm. girl like somebody yeah, you he know was, he was indicted. Yeah, Dude, for he's like child trials for it. Damn. So God. he's a pervert. Yeah. And I don't. I never. It never like clicked to me. I remember like in high school he would like give all these girls kisses on the cheek, which you know it's a little kind of it's kind of a stretch. But I was just like, uh, if I saw that, you know, if I didn't know who Drake Bell is. Who the fuck is this grown ass man? Cause my fucking daughter. Like, okay, but who yeah. is Drake Bell? Yeah, yeah. He was pretty Drake bad. And Josh. Or he's yeah. popping That's, in Mexico. Though. Yeah, he's apparently a, he's apparently still a pedo. What? He's still yeah. Nonetheless, he's still a pedo. You're the pedo from Drake and Josh. He's also like a very small guy, like a small, like That's very true. small. I ran in. I didn't. Why well, I did run into him? Like I was going to the bathroom. Funny thing about that Here bathroom, they fucking destroyed that bathroom with all the shit that you got from the um the little like event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. people. Yeah, they just threw like talkies in the toilet. <laughs> The oh yeah, shade. they were pushing they talkies were like crazy yeah, and like throwing it in, in the bathroom, just trashed That's it. Disgusting. And then Drake goes in that bathroom. Deuce is like, like this tall. He's a dick too. I'm like, I'm like, hey, oh shit, like what's up? And he's like, mm. I was like, fuck you. <laughs> I'll just push you over, you little fucking. Beat the fuck out oh yeah, fucking leprechaun. You about to go to get your fucking lucky charms? Like fuck him, dude. He's a he's a pedo and he's just a shit. And he's like five hundred thousand dollars in debt. Like he's a piece of fucking. He's fucked. Damn. Poop. Damn. Yeah. Like, Should was, we crack open some apple juice? Yes. Yeah, yeah, we forgot about the apple juice. Ooh. Bubbly. I'm honestly oh, fucking yeah. fly. Like I said, I, I kid you not. We literally get, we don't get shit. Like people don't bring what? shit. That we give, last episode I made banana pudding and the guest, 
It was pretty good. Ooh. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was pretty good. I'm a slut for some banana pudding, bro. Yeah, I love me some. I am a slut. Rub it all over my body. No, what? What? The rub <laughs> right over my That's body. Talking about. <laughs> no? Oh, like eating it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, rubbing over your body and using it as lube. And I then mean, eating it. Yeah, and then, yeah. <laughs> putting on, a, <laughs> putting on your spouse. Oh, bro. What's y'all's favorite snack pack? Um, now that we're on pudding. Vanilla. Just vanilla, and I like the caramel one they have. I've had. I don't. I don't have snack packs anymore. Oh, but like, cheers. I want. Oh yeah, two. cheers. No clink. I guess chocolate. Uh, cheers. Cheers. Cheers to the the collab of heavenly cool. souls. Yeah. Oh, coming. Hell fucking yeah! This is good. Y'all are like, yeah, no, like I. I just thought y'all were just, just like a like a had your brand like your merch. Like I didn't yeah. think that y'all did so much because like, oh, we have the depth. similar. We tried to like I guess like, similar yeah. thing. <laughs> uh, top no, 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 we only bring the best. <laughs> uh, Martinelli's. <laughs> Martinelli's. Holy shit. Not sponsored. Oh, yeah, but yeah, they should. Maybe eventually. Yeah, they, <laughs> they can give us a call. Yeah, well, I'll know, answer. We, we've been trying to get sponsored by an Apple Juice brand. Like, and, you know, Juicy you, Juice. Oh. What about uh, Mott's? Is that two kids? Two kitty? Two, uh, two corporate. Two corporate. <laughs> Too yeah. Martinelli's is like the Rolls Royce of like yeah, apple they're, juice. They're a yeah. family. It's they're in a jar, bro. Juice. Come on, it's it in a jar. Exactly. <laughs> Look at that jar. And it's glass. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it just tastes like more like apple. It it's not targeted like... towards children. Like that the whole thing does not appeal to kids. Yeah, it's it's like a okay. high. I mean, it's like high class. I guess. Yeah, it's just it is apple juice. Yeah, this is straight straight damn, it's straight damn good. Up, straight from the Red Delicious. I don't even know what apple would like what apples they that's use to question. make apple juice. That's a good question. There is one. Is it red like, delicious? I, would, I don't just, know. It's not. Maybe honey crisp. Uh, definitely not same. green apple because this is nah. way too dark. We should, we should know this though. We need, we should, we need, we need to, to research. stock up on our apple juice facts. <laughs> Does it even say? It might just say apple juice. Yeah. like it could be a blend. It's a nice blend of uh, a honey crisp, um, red delicious, and sour, like runny smith apple. And then you just, you just juice it, and then you pull it on in the bowl, and it's just yeah. There's no, juice. there's nothing. It's, it's just those 100 percent fresh apples. So, tell me about y'all. What are y'all trying to go from here? As far as like, Ooh. what's next? Yeah. As far Damn. as like the podcast, I think we're trying to make shit, stuff. You know. Yeah, that's just because I know like we don't want to be exclusive to just making like podcasts or making the podcast. I think we want to do more skits and more, even just with music. We got Mr. Fake Cam over there, fucking music producer. Just dropped his EP as of March 4th, 6th. Nice. That oh, wasn't even nice. close. So, and even with me, like, being a DJ, like, I, I say amateur because obviously I haven't gotten paid for my first gig, but in a few weeks, I'm going to DJ my friend's um, house party. Just like, fuck it, why not? Just keeping it, you know, small. And then I tell people that I DJ, and they're like, oh, well, what, you want to, like, you want to DJ? I'm like, well, Pay me first, like I'm not doing pro bono. <laughs> we'll start you up a contract that you can just use. And the, but I also want to incorporate Brev and Cam because we can. They can also like MC or like if we let's the biggest one of our one of my goals, at least in my head, I want all three of us to DJ and MC like a wedding or some kind of event, and just I'll officiate. <laughs> Cam just comes in with the random just fucking sound drops here, <laughs> or like I would just for tail. You may now kiss the bride. And he's like. Lil Zay News and just shit like that. Just you're just like, and I just think that'd be so fucking dope. I'm just like, yeah, but, uh, uh. I just think that'd be fucking dope. So but we also we have more than that. We also want to through our business that we have. We want to, I believe, we want to buy. I don't know if we want to go so much. For we want to buy uh, Facebook. commercial. Uh, okay, I was gonna say and then buy China real estate, but he said we buy Facebook and then and, China and then China and then and then if you own China, I mean, you you run the world. Game over. But yeah, there's like there's really nothing that we don't. I can say like like there's nothing that we don't think we can't do if that that's makes the, sense. That's the right Wait, Cam and I, I or we, there's nothing. Not, there's nothing that we don't think that we cannot do. Yeah, you said that right. I all guess. right, all right, okay, bad word. So but even about Cam the, and I want to direct a documentary about the the hidden gems and like the lost facts of Charleston. Hidden gems. Hidden gems. That'd be pretty dope. <laughs> the uncut gems of Charleston. That would be dope. uncut gems. That would be sick. Yeah, it'd be really. Dope. Are you still going downtown doing the um a man on the streets? We yeah, haven't. Yes, bro. Yeah, he showed me that. Do. He showed me that, and I was like, "That's got some potential to be funny." Yeah. It, we haven't in a while, potential. just because <laughs> the last time we went was it was a little weird. Actually, this mic cover right here, a woman licked it. Yeah, she oh. grabbed it and then licked it, and I, not Cam like has a, since then disinfected it, so it's not riddled with. It was like a slurp. Yeah, it was just not. It wasn't a touch. Yeah, because she, she should have grabbed and just like put her. It was yeah, it was. <laughs> the TikTok shorts are 
Yeah, we have. Yeah, uh, every yeah, time. yeah, we have. We we do. I think what we what we should do is like for our one year mark of our first uh, man on the street, we should like go out. And I think my thing. I want to ask the same question I asked last year, which was, "What's an HBCU?" And as if anybody's gonna fucking know what that shit is now, but like, but still gonna probably maybe bring up some old questions that we had and shit. But no, nah, like I don't want people to like identify us just with the man on the streets. I want to, I want them to know, be able to hear the podcast. Like, oh, that's very insightful. What Mister Brevin Stallings told me, Esquire, senior, doctor, elder, craftsman, and, and craftsman, and the musical engineer, Cameron, producer, um, uh, amateur rapper, Cameron Allen, uh, Joseph Allen. What he said just really just touched my. <laughs> And then like, yeah, Lil Zane. Yeah, we news. just really want to touch people. Yeah, we just want to touch them. With whatever Whoa. we do. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, on their on their chest. Oh, okay. okay. But it's just a consensual touch. Okay. Not gonna, like a as long as it's that. Okay, so I do want to this is kind of off topic. Um, but I do want to bring this up because mm. I wanted to last time. Um, but can you fix those boards again? Because it, did I, did and that you, and the last thing we shot, it? the pizza one was crooked. Like just very very crooked. We want to make our own skateboards. No, okay. We've looked into. Dude, I, I want to skate also. decks, bro. They're so cool. <clears throat> I have. Um, okay, word. What y'all's like dream set design as like a full scale production? You have no money limits. What what would you make it look like? I don't know. I like carpet. <laughs> <laughs> carpet really just three cameras with lives. like pretty much like almost unlimited fucking recording time. That's true. I guess just three cameras, kind of like kind of like this, like a talk show setup. Yeah. But still, chill. Yeah, a little. I mean, we have plenty of space, but like, in the near future, I'm gonna get a bigger couch so we can have shit. Three people might be able to sit on that motherfucker. But definitely um, a green screen booth. Yeah. Type key deal. in some random shit. Just key in. Shit. Well, I think it might be weird to key in like the key logo in the back. Key in, key on, <laughs> key on, key off. But key in, key on. But yeah, like if there's. I don't. I think that would, uh, yeah, like I said, three cameras. I think just a little bit more. I think we have enough space now, but I think like. Why well, stop it, at three? Oh, three, like what? Three. Like 20 cameras. Uh, What? Oh, okay. All different angles. Yeah, just like one like on my like shoulder. Bro, uh, yeah. And GoPros. One. We can do POVs. <laughs> oh my God. That would be <laughs> wild. That would be different. I'm, I'm not going to lie. That's different. That's different. Oh my God. That's that's POV different. talk show. That's different. That would be <laughs> so fucking just, that's weird. GoPro just like just looking at your fucking, that'd be fucking dope. Well, anything else you want to get off your chest? The floor is yours. Um, plug it in. Plug in the plug in the fucking business. All right, everybody, go <laughs> follow. Oh, hold on, we just changed our Instagrams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, I'm H S Trippin. Bad, 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 bad. T R I P P I N. Let us know where we can buy the merch because we know where. We're... It's uh, you go on our Instagram at Heavenly Souls underscore, and then link in the bio. We're dropping on the twentieth, which is one week away. It's so fucking. Maybe. Instagram hs nice. dot Dave with two e's. There we go. Word. Then Heavenly Souls underscore. Make sure you guys go tap in. Fuck yeah. Get us on YouTube. We got a couple music videos up. We got more on the way. Fuck yeah. Shout out to everybody who's helped us so far. Fuck yeah. Just you know, keeping it coming. Shout out to Apple Juice for two for having us on. Yeah, oh, yeah. thank you, especially always. Yeah.